everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about what to do if you have a toothache. I know you probably clicked on this video because you currently have a toothache, so let me help you. Now, I'm sure you could imagine that there's a million different reasons your tooth might be hurting. The pain might be sharp and jolting, or maybe it's dull and throbbing. Symptoms might come on suddenly and then go away for days, while others might keep you awake at night. But no matter what type of pain you're having, it is extremely important that you schedule an appointment at your dental office. Because toothaches don't resolve themselves. Even with great home care, if you have an active infection, cavity, or abscess, then you need a professional diagnosis. So please keep in mind that these home remedies I'm about to go over are only to help you get by until you can see your dentist. First and foremost, to relieve tooth pain, you want to manage the swelling in your mouth. Even if you can't see it, the inflammation of your gums or tooth nerve is probably what's causing the pain. Right now, your best friends are a cold compress and ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, aka Advil, is usually the better choice. It's better than acetaminophen, Tylenol, because of ibuprofen's anti-inflammatory properties. And also, take a look inside of your mouth to make sure there's no foreign materials, such as food or floss, stuck between your teeth and gums. If you need to, you can actually knot a piece of floss and gently drag it through that space to pull anything out. Also, avoid biting down on the tooth that hurts until you can get to your dentist office. In the meantime, try to eat softer foods and only chew on the other side of your mouth. Something else you can try is a salt water rinse. Fill a glass of warm water and dilute a teaspoon of table salt in it. Rinse with it for several seconds, spit, and then rinse again with more until you've worked your way through the entire glass. You can repeat this process as needed. Hydrogen peroxide rinse. Peroxide has a variety of uses, including antimicrobial properties. And even though you don't want to gargle with hydrogen peroxide on a regular basis, it messes up the bacterial flora inside of your mouth. It can kill both the good and the bad microbes. It is okay to occasionally use as needed. The important thing is to mix it with water to make a 50-50 solution. Rinse with it for about 30 seconds and then spit it out. And after, make sure you go back and re-rinse your mouth out with fresh water to remove any residual peroxide. Cold compresses. If you have a toothache, like I said at the beginning, cold compresses are your best friend. Apply one to up to 20 minutes at a time to the side of your face that the toothache is located on. After 20 minutes, give yourself a 20 minute break, then repeat the process again. They help in minimizing inflammation, thus taking the edge off when you're in pain. Elevate your head. Try to keep your head up. Tooth pain typically gets worse when you lay down to go to sleep at night, especially if you have an infected tooth. So by keeping your head elevated, you can take some of that pressure off of your mouth. Grab a couple of extra pillows to prop yourself up or consider sleeping in a recliner if you have one and a few more at-home remedies that may help with your tooth pain while waiting for your dentist appointment. Peppermint tea bags. Tea bags in general are great for sore gums and managing pain after dental work. Say you just had a tooth extracted. This is sometimes suggested as a DIY pain reliever. So when you have pain on a tooth, it's the same concept. What you want to do is you want to briefly soak the tea bag in warm water for a few seconds and then place it onto the area of your mouth that hurts. Clove oil. If you have clove oil at home, you can dab it onto your sore gums or soak a cotton ball and hold it in your mouth. Garlic. Just crush a clove of garlic and rub it up against that sore spot. If that's too tender, hold it in your mouth against the tooth. Of course, this will give you bad breath, but if you're in pain, bad breath is the last thing you're worried about. And lastly, vanilla extract. Something lots of us have in our kitchen cabinets, vanilla extract is not something you want to drink or rinse with, but you can use a cotton swab to dab a few drops onto sore teeth and gums. In all, I can't stress enough how important it is to see your dentist ASAP, especially if you're having throbbing pain, pain when you're laying down, and or pain when biting down. If you do have a tooth infection in the root of your tooth, technically it can travel to other spots in your body and you don't want that. And I don't want to scare anyone, but I do want to please make sure that everyone knows that it is possible. So always call your dentist if you're having throbbing tooth pain. Sometimes you might need an antibiotic if you have an infection, even before they can do the root canal to save your tooth or the extraction to get rid of the tooth, things like that. So please again, understand that when I was listing all of these home remedies, they are just to get you by until you see your dentist. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.